Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide, your favorite, maybe your only energy drink biochemist. This week we're talking about caffeinated water and today we're talking about whether caffeinated waters are a paradox. So, water is supposed to hydrate you. Caffeine is rumored to make you dehydrated. So, are caffeinated waters a paradox? Well, it's time to look at the research. And as a bit of a warning, I have to talk about urine and pee and diuretic effect. So if any of this makes you giggle, that's totally cool. You're in luck because we're get, we get to talk about urine a lot. In 2003, there was a study on caffeine and fluid balance. And this was a review, meaning it looked at all the other studies that were available at that time. This review concluded that caffeine amounts between 250 milligrams and 300 milligrams did increase urine output, but only for people that haven't had caffeine in about a week. So for the people that were regular caffeine consumers, caffeine did not affect the amount of urine that they produced. And if it was a caffeine amount less than 250 milligrams, there was no effect on urine output for either the caffeine consumers or the non-caffeine consumers. And you have to remember, 200 milligrams is the magic number of caffeine you're allowed to have at one time. 200 milligrams is the amount allowed in a single dose. So the amount of caffeine that did cause an increase in urine output for the non-caffeine consumers is more caffeine than those people are supposed to have at one time anyways. In 2015, there was another review study on caffeine and fluid balance. And you might wonder, if there was a review done in 2003, why do another one? Well, think of all the things that have happened since 2003. Think of all the wonderful caffeinated beverages that have come out on the market between 2003 and 2015. So doing another review study is actually kind of helpful because there have been lots of things that have happened since then. In this 2015 review study, they determined quite a few things. And I have to get a little bit scientific and nerdy on this one. So if you don't like the science, feel free to watch this video of my dog rolling down the hill while I break out some of the science for the nerds of us. Caffeine does not increase the kidney glomular filtration rate. Caffeine's diuretic effect is probably due to how it inhibits sodium reabsorption in the proximal and distal tubes. So that means if you're absorbing less sodium, it's going to feel more concentrated so you'll have a greater urge to pee. Caffeine-induced diuretic effect disappears with exercise because exercise exerts an anti-diuretic effect through the sympathoadrenal activation, meaning exercise stimulates the release of catecholamines, which are the adrenal hormones like adrenaline, um, dopamine, norepinephrine. When exercise releases those, it undoes any diuretic effect that caffeine might have. Catecholamines also constrict the renal artery, uh, they constrict something, which lowers the glomular filtration rate. So the conclusions from that study are if you have caffeine and heat and physical activity, all of that will reduce any diuretic effect and it will help you retain that water instead of losing it. This study also found that females are more susceptible to caffeine's diuretic effect because caffeine modifies the cytochrome P450-1A2 activity. So that's why females uh, metabolize caffeine slower because they have this different activity in that cytochrome. Welcome back. All right, come back, come back. Okay, all right, so all of the nerd talk is done. So you might be wondering, is there a difference between caffeinated water and energy drinks when it comes to hydration? Yes, yes there is a difference. So if you'll remember from our discussion yesterday, caffeinated waters are a spectrum. So for the caffeinated waters that are just caffeine and water, 
there seems to be no difference between caffeinated water and regular water when it comes to hydration. And there's two examples of that. Number one, in 2011, there was a study in the British Journal of Nutrition that found no difference between black tea and water in any blood or urine measurements of dehydration. In 2014, a study in PLOS One found there was no difference between coffee and water in any of the blood or urine or the total body water measurements. So no indication of differences in dehydration between coffee and water. And then in 2013, there was a study between caffeinated soda and non-caffeinated soda that found no difference in the saliva flow rate. So the amount of caffeine in the soda had no difference on the amount of saliva that was produced. But in 2014, when caffeine was provided with carbohydrates and electrolytes, there was a difference between the caffeine carbohydrate electrolyte solution and the electrolyte solution only. So it seems that when you add caffeine and sugar and electrolytes, that's when you're finally observing a difference in hydration between caffeine and water. So your bottom line for today, we know that hydration helps you perform better because when you're dehydrated, you don't perform as well. We know that caffeine does not make you dehydrated. And we know that caffeine and water, just caffeine and water, does not have a significant difference in hydration between just water alone. But when you start adding all those other ingredients, that's when you start getting the difference between caffeine and water, just water, and caffeine, water, and other stuff. So if you're trying to stay hydrated, water and caffeine and water provide the same benefits. However, obviously, like I mentioned yesterday, you don't want eight cups of caffeinated water a day because that would be way too much caffeine. But when it comes to caffeine and performance or Gatorade versus water, that's a whole different conversation. Today, we're just talking about caffeinated water versus regular water. And the bottom line is there doesn't seem to be a difference when it comes to hydration. I hope this was helpful. I look forward to talking with you tomorrow about some of the favorite caffeinated waters that I've discovered along my travels. Thank you so much for watching. This is Green Eyed Guide. Take care.